This is our friend's kitchen, and over the last several weeks, we have demoed it out and started building custom cabinets. This week, we'll be arching some doorways, having drywall repaired, and finally installing these custom cabinets we've been working so hard on. So welcome to the adventures of my DIY wife and her non-handy husband. Before we get started, we wanna say thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Hotu. Hotu is short for home tools and they offer a variety of tools that are great to use around your house. Hotu sent us their brushless drill set and it comes with the drill, a hand screwdriver, a magnetic hammer, an adjustable spanner, a measuring tape, needle nose pliers, four metalworking drill bits, and four woodworking drill bits along with 10 steel screwdriver bits. On the drill, the custom mode with precise torque selection means your screw stops at just the right depth. The LED smart screen makes it incredibly easy to change the speed and switch out the bits. The drill is cordless and its lithium battery is easy to charge with a simple USB cord. So if you're interested in checking out Hotu Tools, go to the link in our description and use our code for $10 off. The first step in building these arches was to go over to their house and measure the doorways. Let's make our first and most important stop and that would be over here. <gasps> what? Do you remember their letter? Dear Dean and Andrea, Mostly Dean, we're sorry that we weren't able to bake fresh, delicious cookies for you today. One of these days, there will be more fresh baked cookies waiting in that little glass container for the delight of your heart and soul. They came through. They came through. <laughs> Who's this weirdo, Winter? These snickerdoodle cookies are delicious. You know what I'm saying? All right, so today we're gonna be working on arching these doorways. So we have two doorways that we're gonna arch. This one, and there's another matching doorway right here that go into the kitchen. So step one is to pull off all of the trim so I can measure, and then I'm actually gonna go build the arches at our house, and we'll bring them back. So let's pull some trim off, let's measure, then we'll be getting materials, and then hopefully start building these arches. <laughs> That's crazy. I always thought these were actual wood floors. <laughs> it's just a vinyl. Hey, hey. I moved on to the second doorway and continued removing the trim and I guess I shouldn't be too surprised at how difficult this trim was to remove given how the cabinets were built, but they were being pretty stubborn. We're done. We made a big mess. It looks like Andrea has been here, certainly. After I finally had all of the trim removed, we took all of the boards outside and did a quick cleanup. All right, so we have all the trim out, so I'm gonna measure really quick so I know how big to build the arches. So we're gonna go get materials, head back to our house. Well, how many is too many? I don't know, but three is not too many. Once we cleaned up and had the measurements we needed, we headed to Lowe's to get the supplies we needed to build these arches. Bye, Winter. Bye. I decided to use two by four foot sheets of half inch OSB for the arches because it was the most cost effective for this project. Fastest Lowe's trip ever. Once we got back from Lowe's, it was time to set up the tools and get started. And I even tried to teach Andrea some dance moves, but she wasn't having it. You're so bad I, at I this. am not a synchronized swimmer. I'm a swimmer, man. You again! Yeah. Ah. Well, it looks like you lose again. Yes. No. For the finish, it's going to be incredible. I won't do it. Come on. No. No. Come on. Fine, I'll do it with myself. Paparazzi, man. Relentless. Hey, 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 autograph, autograph, autograph. All right, so we're getting ready to make these arches, and we picked up this OSB at Lowe's. It's two feet by four feet. Both of our doorways are almost three feet wide. Basically, I'm gonna cut these to the width of my door, and then we're gonna figure out exactly the size I wanna do my arch, and I'm gonna use 
simple method of a string and a pencil to draw my arch and then cut it out with a jigsaw. I started by cutting each sheet of OSB to the same width as my doorways. All right, these are the pieces for door number one. Now I've got to draw my arch and we'll cut it onto both of these pieces. Kind of making this up as I go. Basically what makes sense to me is I've got the width of my door and so I'm setting my radius of my circle or my arch at half of that. I've marked the middle, put my screw right at the center point, should draw me like these little arch corners because I want to keep our the top of our doorway as big as possible and so I'm actually not going to bring it down at all. I just want those corners arched. Nice. Yep. Once I had my first arch figured out and cut, it was a pretty simple process to then trace that on the rest of my boards and cut those out as well. So now I need to cut my spacer boards because these, you know, your wall is the thickness of the 2x4. So I need this to be thick. That's why I've got two of them. So I'm going to have some 2x4 pieces I'll cut in between, put them together. Attach this in the corners of my doorway, get it all drywalled in, easy peasy. Absolutely marvelous. You know what's marvelous is I'm not doing the drywall. We have our drywall guy coming already to do a bunch of other stuff, so he's gonna do the arches, because he is the expert. It's gonna look a lot better if he does it. <laughs> Are you building a Jenga set? Yep. Once I had all of my two by four spacers cut, I started arranging them and figuring out what would be the best layout. And then once I had them placed, attached them using wood screws. Dun, 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 dun. All right, these look good. Now I've just got to repeat all of this again for the second doorway and I'm just gonna use these to trace the arch onto the next boards after I cut them to the correct width. I've already got my two by fours cut, so hopefully this goes really fast. After finishing up the arches, we called it quits for the day, and the next morning we shifted gears a bit to go take a look at a future project we'll be working on. All right, where are we going? We're going to what we're calling the shed. I think that's just what we're gonna call it. It's the shed. shed Tiny house. house, shed, we're gonna call it the shed. We're going there, we're meeting Tyler and Justine. We are working on the final design element so they can get started because for this project, I'm gonna be doing mostly the design with a little bit of the work. So we've gotta get all of that nailed down so they can get started on everything else. It's gonna be a really unique, fun space. <laughs> all right, well, let's do this. <laughs> Where am I supposed to park? It's a great question. How many bedrooms, bathroom, bedroom back there? I'm doing is, those. Is it bunks. all gonna stay the same? We're not moving walls. No, no. We were also able to talk to the client and get a better idea of how she wanted this space to function and also what she liked as far as the overall design goes. I want to get rid of a lot of this metal possible. Oh, great. We were yes. thinking that. I, see, this is why we need you here because <laughs> I was under the impression that we needed to keep the metal. There is so much planning that happens on a project this size, and so today we really needed to land all of the overall design features so they could get a materials list put together, a more accurate estimate, and get things underway. Is it yeah. it's like antique or yeah. it's just a different feeling? All right, so where are we off to now? On to the next house. We are going to be attaching those arches that we just built yesterday. We have a sitter at the house for a short amount of time, so we are trying to be as, what's the word? Efficient. Efficient. I'm gonna print you a shirt that says, I love efficiency. <laughs> efficiency is my love language. It's time to get to work, Miss Efficiency. All right, I've got the arches that we built at our house over here, some three inch wood screws, and we're gonna attach them to the studs, and then that'll be that. It's such a wonderful sound, isn't it? The sound of beautiful arches being installed. <laughs> These arches were a relatively simple build, but they were having such a high impact on the space and it was so exciting to see them go in. My little arch. 
It's so lovely. After finishing up the arch on the first door, I moved on and repeated the same process on the second doorway. Nice. It's so cool. Finally, I had both arches done, and even though they're still looking a little bit rough, it was so fun to imagine what they're going to look like all finished. Oh, look at that cute little arch. Good work, darling. Just another day in the office for the DIY yeah. wife, or what? Look who came to join the party. Hey, Winter. What do you think about those arches, huh? I'd say you're pretty happy about them, huh? Look at that smile. All right, one of the last things we need to do for these cabinets this week is to measure for the new doors. We're gonna be ordering those from a website. It's a brand called New Doors. You can get them custom made to any size. They have really great guidelines for how to measure for the kitchen. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today so we can get those ordered so they can hopefully get here in time to then paint them and get them on the cabinets. After I finished measuring for the new cabinet doors, our drywall guys came in and started making all of the drywall repairs and finishing up these arches. And this was great timing because we needed them to finish the drywall in the kitchen before we could install all of the cabinets. Hey, where are we going? Where are we going? Would you slow down? We're a little bit late, so we do need to hurry. We're going to pick out countertops. We already think we know which ones we want because Laria went by there and saw like the perfect quartzite slabs. We're gonna go make sure they're still there and actually get our name on them because they are coming to measure the day after tomorrow, which is so exciting. Did we figure anything out or are we more confused now? Well, no, we figured stuff out, but what's hard is all of the ones that we like, all the slabs are taken. And so I think now we're just waiting to see when they're getting the next bundle. I don't like waiting. And you're so patient. I can That's do your this. Specialty. I love it when things get slowed down. I was like, so can you can order more of that like now, right? <laughs> can we still get on your schedule so you can install it like as soon as it gets here? <laughs> All right, so we're headed over to their house. The drywall guys are there now finishing up today and we are gonna see the completed arches for the first time. And I am so excited because I haven't seen since they've actually like added the little corner beads and taped and floated it all. It's gonna look so good. And then after that, we're getting the cabinets hung. This kitchen's gonna start coming together. Let's go see those arches. Oh my gosh, look at these. I'm like, no wonder Larry keeps sending me messages like, I love these arches, those are so pretty. Oh, look at this nice smooth edge. Man, this is why you hired out, that is like, that looks insane. All right, so last step before we get these installed is I'm gonna use this little Craig jig to add the, what do you call these? The holes for the adjustable shelves in all of these cabinet boxes that we built. This was actually my first time using this little shelf pin jig, but I love this thing. It was so easy and straightforward to use and made these perfectly uniform little holes that my shelf pins will go in for the adjustable shelving. Is that it? Uh, one more really big cabinet it's inside. <laughs> Once I had all of the holes drilled, we were finally ready to install these cabinets after working on them for weeks. Why now? Like a glove. Does this vent hood feel a little low to you? Or? <laughs> we are going to be putting these up higher. All right, first cabinet is up, it's looking good. I am not attaching that hutch cabinet yet because I forgot there's an outlet right behind it that we need to remove. We've got this one in, we're gonna do the vent hood next. I'm gonna have Dean help me hold it up and I'm trying to figure out where the studs are. Thankfully, since I'm going all the way to the ceiling, we can get some really long screws at a diagonal and hit that top plate. I really prefer to hit a stud or some sort of wood in the wall. Atlas man again. Starting to feel the burn. I mean, how hard are you pushing on it? 
Wake up. Oh. I'm not gonna fall. Wait. Wait. Where are you going? There's ah! spider web in here. Oh, that was loud in here. Burn a moss. Oh. oh my gosh, okay. Careful. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at okay. that cabinet wall. All right, so we have the uppers in, the vent hood in, and this one will be easy to do once we get that out the moved. I'm actually gonna add another one by two to the inside top of that one to make that opening smaller because I did make one kind of mistake in that I wanna leave enough room above my doors to attach crown molding at the top of these. So that's why you see a gap on some of them is there is going to be crown molding at the top of all of these. We'll get to that next week, but it is looking so good. All right, now it is time for the refrigerator wall. So this big cabinet is actually gonna be where they keep small appliances, and so I need to cut out a hole in the back of it for this outlet. We're gonna do that real quick and then get this thing installed. How's it going? Good. This is exciting. I still keep staring at the arches. I can't stop stopping and staring. One last one. Cabinet over the fridge. Probably our most difficult one. Need Atlas Man. <laughs> I don't know like where this is going. Right, Atlas Man. Josh. Yeah. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Gosh. Ah, help me. That rattles my brain, too. My arms are burning off. <laughs> so, I need you to hold the level for me. Are you being serious or are you? <laughs> I there's a stud here. What in the world? There is a stud here. You're looking at it. You are the slowest screwer in all the world. Oh, there you go. That is the most annoying sound of all time. I like that little victory sound it gave you. I know. I was like, wow. After getting all of the cabinets installed, it was time for a quick cleanup and it was so exciting to see this kitchen finally start to take shape. amazing job on this arch project. I mean, how cool do these archways look? And this is just another project we can put in the books of where you came up with an idea in your head, you put in the hard work, and then it turned out so incredibly cool. So, good work. I can't exactly take full credit for this because Laurie came up with the idea of arching doorways because she loves arches and this is one of those features that we've consistently planned on. She loves arches so this was such a fun element to incorporate and it looks so cool. Like yeah. it, it's, it's a really cool feature to add. I can't wait to see it all finished with like flooring, baseboards, the kitchen painted just so you get that kind of full experience but it's really cool to see these elements start coming together and it is looking so good already. So that's it for this week's video, but you'll definitely want to join us next week because we're moving into the built-ins in the living room. Andrea will be adding some arch details there as well, and this space is just going to be completely transformed. So we'll catch you in the next episode. We should make this like a synchronized dance. No. You're so bad I, at I this. am not. A I want that music like, Wait, I want to take a picture of your feet.
Why do you need to take a picture of my feet? <laughs> Are you saying that I have a bit of a dramatic tan line or what? <laughs> I want to get some close-up shots today. Two and a half inches. Because two and a half plus one is three and a half. Are you some kind of mathematician or what? Oh man. Let's do the circle zoom. That session was amazing. You're hotter than Hansel. You heard any good jokes lately? Hey, what do cows like to do on the weekend? <laughs> Watch a movie. <laughs> Every once in a while, I like just a good collection of memes. I will be like dying laughing. And I'm like, babe, look at him. And he's just like. <laughs> doesn't even crack a smile. Part of that is because she shows me when I'm like nodding off to sleep. So my humor gauge is turned off. Oh, laughing's good. It's very good. We hope you had a laugh or 12 while watching this video. That's true. And to quote a great movie, I'll just say right here, uh, that's unfortunate for I dearly love to laugh. You know what I mean? Uh, name that movie in the comments if you know what we're talking about.